What's up guys, Rogue9 here, and we're back with some more Rainbow Six Siege. Many thanks to everyone who provided their feedback on my last video testing the damage of the Louison at various distances. If you haven't seen this video, I hear it's quite good. Uh, you can view it by clicking right here. And if you have seen it, welcome back! Today I will be conducting some more tests on the Louison to answer some of the questions that you guys had on my last video. So let's get this show started! Today's video will include three different tests. In test number one, I will attempt to confirm my theory from the last video that the damage drop-off as a percentage of maximum damage is the same for light, medium and heavy armor. In test number two, I will conduct the same experiment as before, but now focusing on arms and legs to find out how much damage the Louison will do at various distances. And finally, in test number three, I will be looking at headshots. Can they be deadly, or is it always just a knockdown? In part one of the damage test, quite a few of you rightfully challenged my assumption that the damage drop-off would be exactly the same for all different armor classes. Today, rather than using IQ's scanner and a nitro cell to measure distance, I will simply be using the ping functionality. Many thanks to all of you who commented on the last video to suggest this method. To arrive at the most accurate results possible, we are in fact pinging each other and confirming the distances before a shot is fired. All shots are body shots and I ran this experiment both for medium and heavy armor and here are the results. For each armor type, the column on the left shows you the damage amounts that I came up with in the last video and the one on the right, the ones measured for this video. As you can see, the numbers are quite similar in general except slightly higher this time round. So in order to find out why that might be, I ran a test where I had both the nitro cell down and I was using the ping at the same time. And as you can see here, the ping slightly exaggerates the distance, which would explain why we end up with slightly higher damage ratings. And even though using the ping for distance measurement has given us slightly different results, the final conclusion in terms of how many shots it takes to down an enemy at what range remains exactly the same. And with that, I'm going to call my figures from the last video confirmed. I hope you're satisfied, Jimothy. And yes, ICBA. On to experiment number two, and this time we're checking out the damage done by limb shots. I compared the damage of arm shots to that of leg shots, and I can confirm that it is exactly the same. And with that, let's go straight to the results. Taking into consideration the challenge of measuring distance accurately in this game, some fluctuation in the numbers was expected, but something that was nonetheless surprising was that for medium and heavy armor, the damage done at 2 meters and 3 meters was exactly the same. Nevertheless, when comparing limb damage to body damage, the results on average indicate that for light and medium armor, the damage done to limb shots is about 75% of the maximum, and for heavy armor, it's 60 and here's the updated table of how many shots it takes to down an enemy. The left-hand columns show the number of body shots required, while the right-hand columns now show the number of limb shots required. For light armor, the difference is actually not so bad. You usually just need one extra shot. For medium armor, from 8 meters onwards, you can expect to need 2 or 3 extra bullets to down an enemy, and when firing at the limbs of a heavily armored opponent, from about 7 meters onwards, you can expect to need 2, 3 or even 5 extra shots. This new data is especially relevant when an enemy is facing towards you, since their arms will actually be covering quite a significant part of their body, and you might need to fire an extra bullet or two to get your kill. And with that, on to our final experiment where we find out if headshots can kill. This experiment is relatively straightforward, all we need is two test subjects, and let's first try a headshot at distance. And then let's get right up cozy, sort of the distance where even a soul would have trouble squeezing in between us. And that's that rumor confirmed, the Louison is very good at downing people at close range, but it does not kill outright. And that concludes our final experiment, and with that we can confirm that the gun does extreme damage at close range even when shooting at the arms and legs, but it will never kill outright even when shooting at your opponent's head. 
I hope that you find these insights useful. Feel free to leave me a like if you do. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode.